Hey, it's Emiliano from Sandmark, and today's video we'll be talking about photography, specifically editing. Editing helps give you the feeling and story you're trying to portray. My photography style isn't specifically one style. I actually enjoy shooting a lot of different types of photos. Here's a few samples of my work that I enjoy shooting and editing. The three topics we'll be focusing on are portraits, landscapes, and low light photography to showcase how powerful the iPhone can be. All the photos I take today will be shot on the iPhone 10 with a few Sandmark lenses and at the end of this I'll go over a quick editing process in Lightroom Mobile. We're going to start off with the telephoto 60mm lens and show you guys how to put it on. So I have the iPhone 10 here and I have the Sandmark case. And all you're going to do is you see the thread here and a thread here. You just go ahead and twist it on just like that. And then you're ready to go. So we made our way down to the pier. I thought it'd be really awesome to get some portraits down here. I also threw on a sweatshirt because it got a little chilly. I think we're gonna find a few more spots for some portraits and then move on to landscapes. The first photo I'll be editing is a portrait under the pier at Pacific Beach. First thing I wanna do is hit the light icon and just correct my basic adjustments. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. I just kinda start from the top and go down and play with the different sliders to see what I like best. Next, I move on to the tone curve. This technique I learned just watching other photographers edit. So I do a little S curve. The bottom half of the tone curve is your shadows and the top part is your highlights. So depending on which way you adjust them, it'll increase the highlights or decrease the highlights. So I just play around with it until I like the way it looks. Next, I move on to optics and hit enable lens corrections. This just fixes anything that might be wrong in camera. Then I go ahead and level the photo out. I noticed it was a little crooked. I like the way this is turning out so far. I'm gonna go on to the color, and I think I wanna warm it up a bit, so I'm just gonna move the slider to the right and warm it up. Now I'm going to go over to the effects tab and add a little bit of teal in the shadows. I think I wanna add just a little bit, so I think this will work really well with what I'm looking for and I just adjust it the way I like it. And this is the final edit. There's before and after. The next photo I'll be editing is another portrait. I really like the way the last edit came out and I want the two portraits to look similar. So what I'm actually gonna do is hit the three dots in the top right corner to copy my settings. And then I'll switch over to the second portrait and hit the three dots again and hit paste settings. So I like the way this looks. I think that I need to make it a little bit warmer. So again, I'm gonna go to the temperature, the color icon, and adjust the temp and warm it up. I'm gonna go to the effects tab and hit split toning to fix these shadows. I think that it's a little bit too cool. So again, I'm gonna just adjust it and warm it up a bit. We finished up the portraits over at Pacific Beach and made our way to Sunset Cliffs. It's really beautiful here actually. I've never been here either, so I'm really excited to get some photos of some landscapes. It also got really foggy out of nowhere, but I think it'll make for some cool photos. So for the landscapes, we're going to go ahead and use this 16 millimeter. It's a wide angle lens, so it'll be perfect for what I'm looking for. The fog just keeps rolling in. Look how foggy it got. There was a cliff right over like in this area, but you can't see it anymore and you can barely see the water. Yeah, it's pretty foggy. This is crazy. It's pretty cool though. The next photo I'm going to edit is a landscape from Sunset Cliffs. I really like how this bird was captured, but I think I want to center it a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and crop it to a one by one square. Put that bird right in the middle. I think that looks awesome. And like my previous edit, I'm just gonna start from the first thing, which is the light, and adjust the basic corrections. So it's really foggy, and I feel like this photo is kind of too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the contrast, the highlights, and just bring back more of the detail. 
go to the tone curve and do a similar S curve. So I'm bringing those shadows down, bring the highlights up. Next, I'm gonna go over to color. I think that the temperature is a little bit warm for me. So I'm gonna cool this one down. And then again, go over to optics and hit any balance correction. I think that there's a lot of color that's lost in this. So I'm just gonna bring up the vibrance and leave saturation at zero. It doesn't give it too much color, but it gives it, I think it gives it the right amount. I'm here at the waterfront park to get some low light photos. There's a beautiful sunset behind me, so I'm really excited to see how these photos will turn out. I'm gonna use the 16 millimeter wide lens for this shoot. The next photo is another landscape. I really loved how this turned out. It is, again, a little dark, and I wanna bring out some detail in this photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the contrast, highlights, shadows, and whites. Then I move over to the tone curve and I bring down those shadows, lift the highlights, play around with it. I like the way that turned out. And then move over to color and I think I wanted this to be a little bit cooler and warm like in the middle so I just brought it down a little bit. Brought the saturation down and really increased the vibrance. I like the way the vibrance makes the photos look and it doesn't make it look like it's not natural. I like my photos to still look natural but have a good edit on them. So this one was really quick and easy. There's a before, there's a after. And the next photo is in the same location with the sunset, so I go ahead and do the same technique with editing my settings. Go over to the next photo and paste them. The sky is too overexposed, so I'm gonna just go through my basic adjustments and bring down those settings that were brought up in the last edit. And I think that looks good. Again, fix the tone curve. And I think that looks really good. Here's the before and the after. Today I wanted to show you guys the capabilities and the power of the iPhone and how you can achieve great photos. I hope I was able to give you a little bit of inspiration to go out and shoot, even if it is with just your iPhone. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.